Hello and welcome into this week's Arkham Menard Series Preview Show right here on Racing News Now. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from R&N. On today's ARCA preview for the third time this season in 2019, we're looking ahead to today's Kentucky Anna Ford Dealers 200 from the Salem Speedway, the 105th race for the ARCA Menard Series at Salem. But before we get into that, let's remind you on how we've gotten to this point thus far this season, because it's been a little bit. Uh, we've had about a month since the last race, and it was about a month before that race until the first race of the season. So... Let us get you caught up on what has happened thus far this season. We had a wild start to the season in Daytona with a overtime finish set up by this wreck between Brandon McReynolds, Brett Holmes, and a myriad of other drivers. Harrison Burton, though, comes away with the victory in the 20 car for Venturini Motorsports. A very emotional win for him, a big win for him, his first race at Daytona, and he parks it in victory lane, a spot that his father, Jeff Burton, also visited back in his day in the Cup Series. Then we went to Five Flag Speedway in Pensacola, an exciting night of racing. Arcas returned to this track for the first time since 1996, but it was Michael Self taking home his first Arca short track victory. A very, very exciting night for Michael Self. And that is how we have gotten to this point thus far this season. Two races, two wins from Venturini Motorsports. The 20 car with Harrison Burton going to victory lane at Daytona. And the 25 for Michael Self going to victory lane at Pensacola. Kind of a little bit of redemption there after the lap three incident that he had in Daytona with Willie Mullins that kind of set him very far back in the points. Um, Pensacola was definitely uh, a good rebounding point for him, but he's still got a ways to go in the points to catch up at this point. So let us take a quick look at the points here just to remind ourselves where we're at at this point with the points as well. Christian Eckes currently leads the points by 65 points over Travis Braden. Brett Holmes sits third, Joe Graff Jr. in fourth. Michael Self, after the Daytona incident, has rebounded to the fifth position, but currently sits 145 points behind his teammate Christian Eckes. And then your other two full-time drivers down here, sixth and seventh, Brad Smith and Tommy Vi Jr., so that's your points so far this season. Now, let's take a little trip down memory lane and look at Arca's two visits to Salem last season because we had some very, uh, very different races at Salem last year. We had a very exciting race in the spring, a really good battle between Venturini Motorsports teammates Christian Eckes and Chandler Smith. Smith had dominated most of the day, got set back by pit strategy, and then here on the final lap, blows a right front tire into the wall while he is battling his teammate Eckes for the win. Heartbreaking day for Chandler Smith, but Christian Eckes, not a heartbreaking day as he took home his first career ARCA victory. A very good day out of Christian Eckes in Salem. Then we move on to the Fall Classic, the throwback race at Salem Speedway. Chandler Smith leading all but one lap in that race, 199 of the 200 laps to take home the victory in the Fall Classic. His redemption from the spring race. Uh, we also, though, we had the controversy between Zane Smith and Michael Self in that race, which we covered extensively on this channel. Um, if you've been following us for a while, if you've been following ARCA for a while, you know the whole incident here. This, these two got very heated after this race. Uh, so we definitely had sparks flying. Both races were definitely exciting races, but uh, for different reasons. All right, so we've caught you up on everything that's happened so far this season. We've caught you up on Salem Speedway from last year. So... Let's go ahead and look at what has happened thus far this weekend. This is one of the few weekends that we can actually look at practice and qualifying in the preview show because this is a two-day show. Most ARCA races are one-day shows, 
So because this is pre-recorded, it's very hard to get practice in qualifying in the preview show. But if it's a two-day show, we can do that. So we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to look at practice and qualifying from this weekend. Both of those happened yesterday on Saturday. Ty Gibbs paced the only practice session, the hour-and-a-half-long practice session for the Arkham Menard series with a time of 17.032, 117.309 miles per hour. About a hundredth quicker than Carson Hosevar in the 28 car. Chandler Smith, Sam Mayer, and Joe Graff Jr. also posting top five fast times in this practice session. Venturini Motorsports teammates Christian Eckes, Michael Self looking for some speed in that practice session. They were top ten fast, though, in sixth and seventh. Brett Holmes, eighth fastest. Corey Heim down here in the ninth position. Remember, he got a fifth place finish in Pensacola in his first series start. And Tanner Gray down here in 10th. We we remember his exciting finish from Irwindale a couple weeks ago in the k and Pro Series West where he almost picked up the victory there but was snuffed out by Trevor Huddleston. Travis Braden down here in the 11th position as well, not on the graphic, but uh, of note as well. The, uh, the interesting thing that we see here, I, one thing I want to point out definitely is uh, kudos to Joe Graff Jr. They have brought speed with that 77 car this week. They have definitely struggled through the first two weeks of the season. They did not have the Daytona that they wanted. They definitely did not have the Pensacola that they wanted. But they definitely seem to be on track here at Salem. Ty Gibbs, again, also very fast here. Remember, he had his first career start at Pensacola as well, came home just shy of that victory in second. He was catching Michael Self at the end of that race, and had he had a few more laps, probably would have won that race. Ty Gibbs, very fast in that 18 car, proving that he's definitely got the talent, and he's not just a name. He definitely has the talent to be behind the wheel of a fast car. Chandler Smith, not a surprise here, third fastest. Um, he's been fast every trip to Salem. He's been here He's been fast in every race he's he's been in Arca, so I don't know why that would be a surprise to anyone. Carson Hosevar as well. He's been fast everywhere he's shown up this year. He's been fast really everywhere he showed up last year as well. Um, so definitely some guys with some speed. Sam Mayer, um, probably the one that surprises me the most here. Um, wasn't super fast in Pensacola. Uh, so it's good to see that that team has brought some speed here to Salem. Uh, maybe piggybacking off the momentum of his win from Bristol last weekend. So uh, good to see Sam Mayer with some speed here from Salem. All right, so now let's look at qualifying. Carson Hosevar picks up the pole for this race. 17.073 was his fast lap in qualifying, 117.027 miles per hour. Christian Eck has picked up a little bit from practice. He came... Uh, second in qualifying, he'll start on the outside of the front row. Ty Gibbs will start third. Michael Self fourth. Row three, we'll see Joe Graff Jr. and Corey Heim, the Chad Bryant Racing teammates. Chandler Smith will roll off from the seventh position with Tanner Gray to his outside. Sam Mayer and Brett Holmes will round out the top ten. And then the final page back here, 11th through 19th place starters. Travis Braden will roll off from the 11th position. Tommy Vi Jr., 12th. Dick Doheny, 13th, Tim Richmond in 14th, Morgan Baird, 15th, Mike Basham, 16th, Daryl Basham, 17th, Alex Club in 18th, and Brad Smith will roll off from the 19th position, taking a provisional as he did not make a qualifying time. All right, so that is your starting lineup for the Kentucky Anna Ford Dealers 400. So it is time to make a prediction for today's race. And there's so many... I guess you could call them obvious picks for this. There's so many guys you could pick in this race that uh, would be a good pick. Carson Hosevar, very fast, always fast when he shows up. Christian Eckes, the defending winner of this race, he is fast everywhere that he unloads. It would not surprise me to see Christian Eckes win this race. Ty Gibbs has been fast both weekends he's shown up here in ARCA. It would not surprise me to see Ty Gibbs win. Michael Self. One at Pensacola. Finally got the monkey off of his back for winning a short track race. Joe Graff Jr. has brought speed this weekend. Could we see another Joe Graff Jr. win? 
Uh, Corey Heim was also fast in Pensacola. He seemed to pick up on things very quickly. Chandler Smith, I, I don't even think there's any explanation necessary. Chandler Smith obviously would be a very good pick. I don't know that there is a bad pick in these cars that are up to speed. That being said, my pick for hopefully today's Kentucky and a Ford Dealers donor, we'll talk about that in a second, uh, my pick for the Kentucky and a Ford Dealers 200 will be Ty Gibbs. I, From what he showed in Pensacola and what the, the kind of speed he has brought here to Salem, I think Ty Gibbs picks up the win today in, in the Kentucky and a Ford Dealers 200. I think he's got the talent to do it. He's got the speed to do it. He'll have some very tough competition, namely from that 28 car of Hosevar. Um, and then, of course, he'll have competition from all three Venturini cars. Uh, the Chad Bryant Racing cars, of course, are very fast. I think Ty, I think Ty Gibbs gets it done, though. Um, I just, I really like watching Ty Gibbs right now. The, the kid is fast, um, and he's very entertaining to watch. I, I watched him a lot during practice today, and just the line he was taking, you wouldn't know it was his second ARCA race. The, the way he was driving that track, you wouldn't know it was his first time in an ARCA car at Salem. The kid's got talent, and I think he does today what he probably should have done in Pensacola and picks up that first career arc of victory. Ty Gibbs goes to victory lane in today's Kentucky and a Ford Dealers 200, or hopefully today's Kentucky and a Ford Dealers 200. So, Tune in info for today's race. As long as things go off without a hitch, which Mother Nature may have something to say about that, 2 p.m. is the start time live on MAV TV today uh, from Salem Speedway. Uh, of course, ArcaRacing.com will have live timing and scoring for you. All you have to do is have a free account, sign into that, and it will let you see the timing and scoring. Um, if you can't watch MAV TV. I know a lot of folks don't get MAV TV, so there is that as an alternative. Um, and then, of course, we'll be at the race today as well, so we'll try to live tweet from it today as well. So uh, if you follow our Twitter, at RNN underscore all underscore access, uh, like I said, we'll be live tweeting today. So um, hopefully if you can't get MAV TV or... Uh, if you just want it as a supplement to the TV broadcast, whatever you might want, um, follow our Twitter and uh, we'll have the uh, the coverage that you want, hopefully today, from Salem. The weather forecast does not look good. Um, as of the time of this recording right now, uh, the night before, it is raining. And if you are to believe the forecast, it is supposed to rain for about another 24 hours, nonstop. So that doesn't lend itself very well to racing. So we're hopeful we can get the race in today. Um, the ARCA officials have said they will do everything they can to get the race in today. Uh, we can start as late as 10 p.m. Salem, of course, does have lights. Of course, they run the fall race at night, so um, that is not an issue. We can start as late as 10 p.m. if we need to, if we can get the track dried by then. Um, we can start that late. Um, if you're to believe the forecast, though, we are probably running a Monday race. I hate to be that guy, because um, I know a lot of people call me pessimistic, but I, I like to think of myself as a realist. Uh, but uh, a lot of people are going to look that as look at that as being pessimistic. I, If you're to believe the forecast, it's not going to stop raining. So... Um, like I said, I'm hopeful that the race gets in today. I'm just not real, um, I'm just not real assured that it's going to happen if you're to believe the forecast. Like I said, I hope I'm wrong on that. So we'll see what happens and, uh, hopefully we can get it in today. Uh, if not though, uh, you are ready for today's race as we have caught you up on everything you need to know for today's race here on the ARC Preview Show. Um... Cup Rewind Show went up this morning talking about their uh, race last night in Richmond, so go check that out. Uh, we'll link it down below in the description. Then pole position, as usual, coming up tomorrow evening, Monday evening, 8 p.m. Eastern, to recap you on everything that happened this weekend from the world of motorsports. So if you haven't done it already, you need to go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. 
And while you're down there, why don't you hit that big thumbs up button if you like the video. It is much appreciated when you do. So with that, this has been the Arkham Menard Series Preview Show. I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.